I bet you clicked on this video because you're tired of drinking plain, boring water. Well, let me tell you, life is way too short to drink anything boring. Hi, my name's Nora, and when I'm not doing yoga, you can usually find me in the kitchen making something tasty to drink. Do you want to see what I'm making today? Come on, I'll show you. Okay, so I have over 20 different fruits, vegetables, and herbs to show you today. Um, out of these 20 different items, we are going to make 57 different infused water combinations. So you can kind of pick and choose what you like the most, but I'm going to show you how to bring a ton of variety to your drinking water. So I'm going to prep everything and I promise it will only take a second. for fruit infused water is simply adding strawberries. This is one of my favorite recipes because strawberries are generally pretty sweet and they're, they are also low on the glycemic index and so it won't spike your sugar. So if you have problems with your sugar spiking, um, strawberries would be a great option for you because it adds a little sweetness to your water but it won't uh, make your sugar spike. The next one that we have um, is a variation to the strawberry one and it is strawberry and mint. So uh, the mint just adds a little different flavor. Um, so you got the strawberries and then if you add mint leaves to your water, your um, one thing that you can do for it to taste a little more, have a little more of that mint taste is to break the leaves apart. So it's up to you how much, you know, that minty taste that you want. Um, but that will make it taste a little more minty if you break the leaves up a little. And then the next recipe we have for you is strawberry, lemon, and basil. Um, so strawberry and lemon obviously are a great combination and the basil leaves just add a little bit different flavor. Um, they smell so good. <laughs> I always get fresh, uh, fresh basil and cause it just has a little bit better taste. And again, just like with the mint, you can break the leaves up a little bit, um, or at least like bend them so that they have that little crease and can kind of let more of their flavor out. Um, and then just let it sit for a little bit. With each of these recipes, you're going to want to let your uh, fruit and herbs infuse for at least um, like at least 20 minutes. That will just give it time for the flavors to really blend in with the water and um, for you to really get that that full flavor. So the fourth recipe we have is strawberry and pineapple. Uh, pineapple is also very sweet. Uh, and so strawberry and pineapple make a great combination here. And we'll set that to the side. And then next we have strawberry and uh, watermelon. Two of my favorites. Watermelon especially. Watermelon's made of mostly water. Um, and it's also can be pretty sweet. So strawberry and watermelon tend to be a really good combination. The next one we have for you is strawberry and lime. And I love that citrus with the with the strawberries, kind of similar to the the lemon in the lime. I mean, the lemon in the strawberry. Um, it has that citrus flavor uh, with that sweet flavor. And then you'll just let that sit there. And then the last one we have for the strawberry category is strawberries, kiwi, and blueberries. Now with any type of berry, because as you can see, the strawberries and the kiwi are cut up. And so obviously those those flavors are going to infuse really well with the water. So with blueberries, you can either put them in whole or you can kind of give them a little squeeze before you put them in. And that just helps release that blueberry flavor um, and will make it just a little bit more um, flavorful and help the, the flavors to all blend in a little bit together. 
So there you go. This is uh, seven different ones, seven different recipes for strawberry. And next, guess what we see, what we have for next? All right, the next category that we have for you are cucumbers. Cucumbers are majority water, so they are actually great for hydration. Um, they also help with inflammation, and so they make a great addition to your water. Um, I typically let my cucumbers sit for about like 15 to 20 minutes and then start drinking it. And, um, and you can also refill your cup a second time before eating them because uh, you definitely want to eat them after you're done using it for your water so that you get the maximum benefit from them. You will get some nutrients through your water, um, through them infusing with your water, uh, but you definitely want to also drink or eat them afterwards. So the next variation that we have for you though in the cucumber category is cucumber, uh, lemon, and mint. So the cucumber and mint go really, really well with the citrus flavor of the, of the lemon. It makes a great, great combination there. And then the third variation we have for cucumber is cucumber, lime, and thyme. <laughs> I know, that's kind of lame. They, they rhyme and I just can't help it. So again, like that citrus flavor um, goes really well with, with uh, cucumber and thyme just adds a little special taste to uh, the cucumber water. The fourth variation, or I guess rather the third variation, but the fourth recipe here is cucumber, strawberry, and mint. Um, again, strawberries, you know, like in the last grouping, uh, also uh, are very sweet, and so they pair very, very well with cucumber. And then mint just adds a little extra interesting flavor with it. And then the fifth one here is an interesting pairing that you might not think of, but it's cantaloupe and, and cucumber. And cantaloupe um, has a little more of a subdued taste, not quite as strong as strawberry, but it pairs very well with, um, with cucumber because cucumber is subtle and so is cantaloupe, and so they pair really well together. Um, plus it just looks pretty in the, in the water. And then the last one we have with cucumber is cucumber and pineapple. Pineapple, of course, has that strong flavor, um, but the cucumber kind of balances it out. So there you have it, six more recipes. <laughs> um, so we've done strawberry, we've done cucumber, and guess what our third one is? Check it out. All right, so the next category is limes. These are so tasty in water, even just by themselves. Uh, they have a nice citrus flavor, and so uh, they definitely will spice up your water. And if you want to do some variations, I have lots of suggestions. So you can do lemon and lime, which is you know, a great combination. Nice citrus flavors that can blend together. You can do lime, pineapple, and mango. So lime typically has a pretty, you know, the citrus flavor. And then pineapple and mango are very sweet. And so they are just a great combo with the citrus. The next one we have is honeydew, lime, and mint. So this is for more if you want a little more of a subtle taste to your water. Sometimes you don't always want something super sweet or um, with a strong taste. And this is perfect because it just has a little bit of a taste that's a little more subdued than some of the other recipes. And then next we have one of my favorites, <laughs> lime and cherry. So another just great combo. So I slice my cherries um, because if you put them in whole, you just will not get the flavor with them. And so I slice them. Um, you could do more than two. Um, I would say with this recipe, you could do, um, I mean, really as many as you want, but um, I know sometimes I'll do more like four or five, depending on how much of that cherry flavor I really want. And then the next one we have are uh, lime and blueberries. And so again, with the blueberries, you can kind of squeeze them as you drop them in. Um, so you get that stronger blueberry flavor to mix with your lime flavor. And then the last one with the limes is 
a combo of three, uh, lime, kiwi, and strawberry. So this is a very, very flavorful uh, grouping. Ooh. So this is seven different options that you have uh, when you're, when you have some limes in the house. So, um, and then the next category is going to be, guess what? All right. So next up we have oranges. These are not only sweet, but also citrusy flavored oranges make um, a great option for fruit infused water. So the next variation with oranges is oranges and blueberries. Now, um, again, you can give your, your blueberries a little squeeze if you want. Um, this makes a very colorful, <laughs> colorful combination. And then next we have oranges, obviously, and strawberries and basil. And it's nice because the basil just kind of helps balance out the sweetness of the, of the strawberry and oranges. Just gives it a little different flavor. And then next we have oranges and another citrus, limes. Now you might have to cut your fruit a little bit smaller if you have one of those fruit infused water bottles because the um, infuser part tends to be a little more narrow. So like with these oranges, I'm able to fit them into the mason jars. But if you're using one of those water bottles, you might have to um, cut them more like in halves instead of instead of leaving them whole slices. So the next one we have is a uh, oranges and blackberries. And then with blackberries, same with the blueberries, you can give these a little squeeze as you put them in, um, just to help that flavor really mix in there. And then last but not least is kind of more of a winter Christmassy combination, and that is oranges and cranberries. So cranberries tend to be a little bit harder. Um, so you can squeeze them or you can even slice them, you know, maybe just like cut them in half. So you get a little more of that cranberry flavor in there. And there you have it. Six different options uh, with using oranges. So the next category is, all right. So our fifth category is with apples. And apples um, also being very sweet, um, I recommend using like Gala apples. They tend to be a little sweeter than like Granny Smith or even Red Delicious uh, tends to be a little bit on the, um, I don't wanna say tasteless side, but just not quite that sweet flavor. But if you use Gala apples or Fuji apples, uh, your water, fruit infused water will taste amazing. So the next combination is apple and lemon. And this is just kind of a great combo. <laughs> Um, with the sweet and the citrus. And then um, this next combo is kind of more of a fall theme um, with apple and a cinnamon stick. So cinnamon actually has a lot of um, health benefits and so you can just drop that cinnamon stick right in there. And then the next one is kind of a twist on that one where it's apple, cinnamon, and oranges. And this is almost, this one's almost like a fall one. And I feel like this one's almost like a Christmassy one. And then the last one for the apple category is apples, lime, and blackberries. There you have it for the apple category. Can you guess which fruit comes next? Okay, so the next fruit that we have are grapefruits. And these tend to be like a little on the tart side, but they taste really good in water. And uh, they are so good for your health. They reduce inflammation. They can help lower your blood pressure. There's a lot of really good qualities to grapefruit. And then the next variation we have is grapefruit, lemon, and rosemary. So rosemary is, um, it's kind of hard to describe the flavor, but it pairs really well with citrus fruit. Um, because it has a little bit of a deeper taste to it. Um, like more of like a woody taste uh, is probably the best way I can describe it. <laughs> and then the last one is um, grapefruit, pomegranates, and mint. Now, if you do not know how to cut up a pomegranate, there is uh, kind of a trick to it. You're gonna wanna watch my other video about that. 
Um, it's just like a little bit tricky um, if you want to preserve as many of the pomegranate seeds as possible, or fruits rather. And there you go. And that's it for grapefruit. Guess which fruit's next? Watermelon is our next fruit. So watermelon is um, made up of mostly water. So um, it's great for hydration and it has a very sweet flavor. So that makes it great for um, infusing with water. And the next variation to that is watermelon, kiwi, and lime. Um, this is a great combination because you get the sweet and the fruity and the citrus all together. And then the next variation is watermelon, lime, and mango. And then our last variation with watermelon is watermelon, blackberries, and mint. There you have it, four different recipes to use with your watermelon. All right, so we have two more categories left. This one are red raspberries. So um, red raspberries are extremely good for you. Um, these, if you just drop them in like that, um, they will give you some flavor to your water, but you're probably gonna wanna squeeze them a little bit just so that, that you get that little extra red raspberry flavor. Um, and then the next variation is red raspberries, mint, and lemon. So you kind of have uh, a tangy, uh, minty, and then um, a citrus flavor. So it looks very pretty in the, in the jar. And then the next we have kind of the sweet and tangy of red raspberries and uh, mango. And then next we have red raspberries and lime and basil. And then last we have obviously red raspberries and strawberries and rosemary. So I just love rosemary with berries. I feel like it really, really complements the flavor. And there you have it. We got one category left. Can you guess which fruit is the last category? All right, the last category, we're down to peaches. Now you'll see I have frozen peaches here, not fresh. So um, at the time of this filming, it is not peach season. So I ended up having to go with frozen peaches, but that's okay because actually frozen fruit can be a great option. Um, for one thing, if it's not in season, then uh, most of the time with frozen fruit, it is frozen at the time of its peak. And so it's normally very flavorful. It's very fresh. Um, and then also it keeps your drink cold. So it's kind of a win-win all the way around. So um, with peaches, another good combo is peaches and uh, red raspberries. And then the next combo we have, and I love this, especially in the summer. If you have um, fresh peaches, this is especially good. Peaches and mint. Oh, it is such a good summer drink. Um, it's just very refreshing, um, sweet, but also has that minty flavor. Uh, the next one that we have is peaches, blackberries, and blueberries. Um, and then again, you can kind of give your blueberries and your blackberries like a little extra squeeze just to get that full flavor. And then the next one, it's kind of an interesting combo. So it's peaches and basil and cucumbers. Um, so the cucumber and the peach just mix really, really well because you kind of have the understated, you know, flavor of the cucumber and then you also have the sweetness of the peach. And then the basil just adds even more flavor to it. And then last but not least is rosemary and peach. Um, so this is also just like a really interesting flavor because you have the sweetness of the peach and then kind of like the, um, the like woodiness. I, I don't know, always know how to describe, um, how to describe rosemary, but it's definitely um, more of like a green uh, woody flavor to it. And so it's a really interesting mix with peach. So, um, so yeah, there you have it. 57 different fruit infused <laughs> recipes. I bet you thought we'd never get there. Please hit that subscribe button so that you get more recipes and tips. And then also give this video a thumbs up and comment which recipe was your favorite. 
or what combination is your favorite that you didn't see in the 57 different variations. So I'm always excited to learn about uh, new combinations and experiment with new combinations. So make sure you comment below what is your favorite recipe that you saw or uh, which one is your favorite that you didn't get to see. So uh, thanks so much for watching and don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe.